Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Gloomhaven. I've gone and swapped Cater out for Crosswalker and I think we're going to head up and uh, try and take out the Savas Armory next. Blaze is doing really well in terms of the amount of money uh, that we've got. Uh, and what I was thinking is if we could save up uh, a little bit more. Well, I mean, that was before we started to get like super, super awesome skills. Having that also do bless would be incredible. Having this do wound as well would be incredible or a curse on top of it. Um, what was the specific one? See, this is the, the danger. You get distracted while having a look through through various skills and things. It is very easy to just uh, just lose your way. Okay, but yeah, it was the purifying aura. That's what it was to put bless on that. So we'd need two more two more gold for that one because um, it's a, it's a it's a really solid um, uh, lower card part. Um, I really quite like it, especially if you're starting with righteous strength, righteous strength. Purifying aura together, bang! You're you're in a really great place. Um, for Crosswalker, I think we're gonna just get a little bit more and boost the range on our Thorn Shooter. Uh, that's really what our target's gonna be. We're almost there, but a tiny bit more, and we'll be will be perfect. And a notion just just needs like buckets of cash to donate uh, in order to. There we go. Donate to the Sanctuary of the Great Oak. Anyway, I'm I'm getting distracted and going on tangents. Uh, I've picked these three because they're all level six. So that means our party level is level three. We're going to be well geared for the encounter. But city encounter first. We're walking across the silent bridge, heading towards the sleeping lion to get a quick meal. When you see a quattrill standing in front of a small cart laden with plates of food and curious contraptions. Um, no. Less adventurous meal this time. Don't want to spend the money. Let's head on up to the Savas Armory. Now this this could be really really hard, um, but I think it's going to be a little bit easier than than taking out the uh, dragon itself. All mercenaries must escape through the exit, and there is ornate chests to loot. So let's go have a look. Commanded by a powerful creature to retrieve a priceless treasure. You now plot how to infiltrate a Sabbath city and break into an armory deep inside their mountain. Assaulting the Sabbath directly is hopeless, the creature told you. But there is a passage on the north side of their city that leads directly to their vault. So that's where you go. Okay. Doesn't seem particularly secure for a vault, but that's all right. Okay, uh, you see a lone wagon off to the side of the road up ahead, and you approach cautiously. As you near, a jovial man with a wide hat waves at you. Oh there! I don't suppose you have any expertise in fixing a broken axle? The road wasn't even that bumpy, and then BAM! The man claps his hands together. Just splits in half. I need to have all these goods up north in two days, and I'm at a loss as to how to get myself out of this pickle. Um, We're at maximum reputation. Let's tie him up and take the goods. <laughs> you smile widely and approach the man. He doesn't even put up a fight. The first thing you do is gag him because he's a talker. You select the lightest of the valuables to take with you and leave the man tied up on the side of the road. You could say his day just went from bad to worse, but that's not your problem. Ten collective gold. Perfect. Uh, so, those ten collective gold will go to on to Blaze. And actually, the, the rest onto a notion because we're going to get plenty in the next well actually no the rest on to crosswalker unfortunately we're out of gloomhaven now so we can't spend that gold but it's a long at least we've got journey, it navigating to the far side of the mountain but eventually you find the hidden entrance you will need to act quickly the creature had instructed as soon as you enter the sabas will sound an alarm You'll need to get what you came for and get out before you're overwhelmed by reinforcements. You reach a simple wooden door at the end of the tunnel. Carefully trying the door, it doesn't budge. It's rather flimsy, 
so you should be able to break it down easily. But you'll have to abandon a stealthy approach. Uh, stealth was never really my strong suit. Uh, right. We'll try for professional. Uh, loot chest, because we have to loot chests. And... Gain seven or fewer experience, though I'm not convinced that's going to happen. Let's uh, pop on in and see what the layout is. Okay, I'm assuming, yeah, that is the exit. So, oh, we've got to go in and then back out. Oh, this is, this is interesting and cool. Right, how do we want to do this then? I think we want to get in there and then summon the Thorn Shooter. Um, but we can afford... To get all the blessings off first, so bless all adjacent allies. We've got no extra... Blesses on the base. So let's. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm not sure if we want to go in this turn or if we want to do it next turn when we can bust in properly. Strengthening the allies won't make a lot of sense this turn. So let's use Glorious Bolt to move in a bit closer. So that'll get us to there. So that gets us to there, and in theory everyone else has already moved. We can step in and then bless everyone, including the Thorn... Shooter. So I would want you to move either one or three. Inexorable momentum is good. But I feel we could do better. Not really. So inexorable momentum, that gets us in position, gets it summoned. Uh, which means you need to move two. And then see if we have anything... ...worthwhile that we can do for the second action. I don't think there is. Okay, in that case, what are we least likely to use? Defiance of Death and and Unstoppable Destruction. Well, actually, no. I want to save that till the end of the the run. Unbridled Power. That's a a fine combination. Okay. So we're gonna step in like this. This gets wasted this turn. I should not have put you there. That was a little bit of a mistake. So I could go here and summon the Thorn Shooter there. Or I could go there and summon it there. Or I could summon it there and then move to the far side myself. And we want to just step in and then get a bless. So not, not the worst 
worth thing, but not like amazing. Okay, I think we are heading in. So we want something that's going to hit big. I mean, we could we could purposely go slow, illuminate the target, and practical plans. So if you're purposefully going slow, we could get someone else purposefully going quick. Spiked armor, that would let us move five with the boots that we have. And cauterize just in case. And without knowing what we've got coming up in the next room, it's hard to say. Grasping the Void is a pretty sensible option. You're going to move through to there, so you'll be in a good place. And then something else to allow us to move. Maybe Living Night? Okay, let's let's do that. Wait, do we have to attack the door? I did not see that. And we've got press plates in the next room. I'm not doing this very well at all so far. Okay, uh, well, geez, this is going to be terrible. It could be worse. It could be worse. Yeah, this is uh, definitely not how I expected this would go. Oh, we can only step into the, the doorway because this is difficult terrain. Uh, what are they going to do? They're going to attack for range 3 with poison. And everyone adjacent suffers extra damage. Ouch. Yeah, we'll hit you. Really painful. Super painful. Well, we can get in at least. Come over here, actually. Get a wound on him as well. And uh, I'm going to get Illuminate the target back. Okay, we want to go relatively quickly. Tactical order allows us to move and illuminate, uh, yeah, illuminate the target will do a big hit. Uh, you need to move in quickly. There's no point in pushing people around, but it is a move three. And Fatal Fury might give us a hit on you. Or Unstoppable Destruction. Let's go Unstoppable Destruction. Uh, you need healing. So I think it's going to be Biting Wind and Unwavering Hand. It's 
gonna summon a wind demon. That is just so obnoxious. Right, get up to here. Mm, not worth pushing them away. Big hit. Healing that's not really going to heal. It'd be nice to like block this guy in, but I don't think we're going to be able to. <coughs> Major Stamina Potion brings back Spiked Armor and... And unbridled power. Good job, Thorn Shooter. Extra poison doing exactly what we need it to do. Actually, if you're just going to suff summon a wind demon, we c well, no, we can't cross that distance. So yeah, just just healing on yourself. One, two. Actually, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> then attack seven and get the strength on for next turn. a little bit of damage it's not bad that's potentially frustrating okay so we can go empower and command and dazzling charge yeah let's go support this time bounce back will move us in and heal up the poison And we can't Fatal Fury him, but we can hit him. In fact, we can get Unbridled Power to stun this guy. That might be good to buy us a little bit of time. I think we're going to have to go Divide of Mind and Oozing Manifestation and just move slowly. Oh, that Sabbath's Ice Storm is moving quick. And he's going to go before us. Oh no, he's not going to go before us. In that case, we're going to stun him. So it's a tiny hit with an advantage, but it is going to stun him and take him out. So better than nothing. Okay. Wind Demon's being a pain, but that's fine. That lava flow is getting more poison in. Which is annoying. Right. One adjacent ally can perform an attack for uh let's go after this and we will get healing and blessing over here good thorn shooter hit that's amazing Hit you. And you can't really move very far. Come to here for now in case it's slightly better.
better angle. Okay, let's try and go relatively quickly. Take these guys out and then we can think about healing up. So, that's you dead. Let's go defensive stance actually rather than that. So, we'll use purifying aura to strengthen both of us. We can actually spike to armor. And Fatal Fury. Fatal Fury would kill this guy outright, but it's it's such a tiny difference, it's it's not really worth it. And this is gonna have to be uh, uh let's do a long rest down this end. Hmm. Wind Demon going quickly. The Ice Storm, not so much. Fine. In that case, we will Fatal Fury you, just so you're dead. That heals up our bit of poison. It would have had to be a really big hit for that to work. We're going to have to step in. Uh, skip the rest of the movement and just try and get any hit we can. Oh, time zero. It's unfortunate. This is going to help for next turn. It's not particularly right now. And I think we'll lose using Manifestation. Okay. You do what you can. You do what you can. You've got slightly more choices over here. So we can make it attack three with Biting Wind. That's okay. And that will attack and heal us. Yeah, when demon is going going quick. That is a lot of damage. This thing will die though before too long. consume the air, see if we can just get it done. Brilliant. So these two are going to long rest next turn. Uh, well, you may as, well, may as well heal yourself up. Skip that. And yeah, use your, use your potion just so it's done. Get a bless and strengthen over here. The strengthen, not so useful. Uh, but you know, you have to do what you can. Okay, long rest. Long rest. Uh, one, two, three, four. I mean, anything that moves more than, yeah, inexorable momentum. That'll probably work. Although, actually, we could just do a small move. Let's use Unending Dominance to move. And Living Knight to just pass the time. Okay, our first thing to lose... Might be defiance of death. And over here, our first thing to lose. Hmm. 
maybe protective blessing. Yeah, I think that's the smart choice. Okay, we are going in. So the big hits obviously come from illuminate the target. Let's go tactical order to move in and illuminate the target to hit something big. Then bounce back is going to allow us to move three, maybe six and heal. And cauterize is just a useful range skill. This is only going to move to there, which is a shame. But we can do Divided Mind to get it to move a little bit further. And we could move forwards ourselves. Or actually we could uh, heal up a little with Unwavering Hand. If we make you go even slower, we could heal you with Unwavering Hand. Okay, let's let's see how this goes. So we've got to hit three pressure plates and there is nasty guys in here who are going to disarm everyone next to them for the Ice Storm. Summon an Earth Demon for the Lava Flow. That's annoying. And he's going to move and attack at ranged. Okay, great. So basically, none of what he's doing is good. Uh, we don't need to use our boots. So we'll just get to here, do a tiny bit of healing. And at least we can start them being wounded. Hey, cool, we're only going to have one extra demon to deal with. Okay, you're going to come to here. And then we're going to move in ourself oh and this is going to be a big hit so who you're going to summon the demon but I do think that the ice storm is the one that we really need to focus on it's a shame you're not one space closer actually Very unlikely we'll get double damage, but we'll keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> and you know what? Use that. Not necessarily for this turn, but just in case next turn's a slow one. Okay. Big hit times. So if you step in, let's uh, actually work this out. You step in and attack both of these with spiked armor. Then we'll have unbridled power to stun something to give us a little bit more oomph. Then we'll have Empowering Command to let you attack again, and we'll follow up with Hammer Blow or Defensive defensive Stance, actually. Down here, it's going to be a short rest this time. Uh, 
That's a shame. Let's. Uh, I can't risk losing uh, unending dominance, so we have to just let it go. Hmm. You're going to step to there, which is not close enough. We can move you in with divided mind, and then inexorable momentum to move us, and then the thorn shooter further in. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. So step in, attack everyone. Hey, yeah, you disarmed him. And extra damage. Right. What are you going to do? You're going to move, attack, and shield. You're going to move, attack, and poison. I think the... I mean, the uh, the shield is annoying. But the poison is the real kicker. Oh, look at that. It's going to die on his turn anyway. That was the right move. Okay, you. I'm going to move in. And then we're going to move in and you're going to come in a little bit further. So you're ready for next turn. One adjacent ally can perform a big hit. That is not a big hit, but I mean, what are you going to do? Let's try and get this guy killed. Perfect. We are thinning them out. And that extra shield we got was just enough. That's perfect. Okay, we could go... Right, just strength and practical plans. Start getting big hits over here. Right, just strength would mostly be to get us a bit of shield. We don't need much on you, so fatal fury to like attack, move, and attack. And maybe break the chains to get more. In fact, unstoppable, unstoppable destruction. And break the chains. And over here, we want to go a little bit quick. Uh, let's say grasp. Unwavering hand to move enemies around and grasp the void to get a curse on things. Yeah, that Sabbath Ice Storm has to die. It's a good hit. Let's come around and get the first of these, actually. Nice hit, Thorn Shooter. Doing well, doing well. Great. That gets the curse, and we'll move you closer to our target. Who is now gonna give it some? It's 
big hit. If you come around here, it will attack you and it will not hit anyone else. And that's really what I want. I want to keep our little friend here alive. Okay, I think that because we need to get these all in, in place, uh, Dazzling Charge is the sensible choice. We'll get a uh, Bless Heal on someone. Glorious Bolt, Dazzling Charge. Over here, it's going to be from the brink. And let's say Furious Aid, that we're not really planning on using it. Is that? No, it's not. So we need to move three. I was wondering if that was like um, heavy terrain, difficult terrain, but it's not. Yeah, we're not quite going to reach it this turn. That's a shame. We could, we could rest and get inexorable momentum, but I don't think it's worth it just yet. Give you a stab, just to make sure he's done. Step back over here. Yeah, they all need to be activated simultaneously. So, heal yourself and bless yourself. Skip the movement. Uh, you'll stay where you are. And we're going to move in. And I don't think summoning a wolf on there is actually going to be enough. So we'll just have to wait one turn. Now for one turn's wait. We could do a long rest now. Likewise, we need to do a long rest over here. This has got to be a short rest, unfortunately. Uh, nope, redraw that. Unfortunate to lose Living Knight, but it is what it is. And we'll go for Divide of Mind to move the Thorn Shooter closer to the door. And... Unwavering Hand to move us onto here. Clearly in the distance. Wow. It's nest. It's just a matter of time before you're swarmed. Okay, not good. You enter the inner chamber and scan the room. There's a lot of treasure here. Best just to grab it all. I'm inclined to agree. So what have we got? We've got There's four actual chests. Three are ornate chests that we need to grab. In fact, no, all four are ornate chests. They're just different kinds of ornate chests. And, of course, this uh, Savas Ice Storm Elite, who is just going to be an absolute pain. So, we're going to stun him on our first turn. Let's lose... Let's lose from the brink. And we're going to lose Glorious Bolt. Okay, we got to get in there quick. So. 
spiked armor. One, two, three, four, five. That's cool. And unbridled power. This dude will be stunned unless he moves really quickly. Well, he'll be stunned even if he moves really quickly. Losing those is annoying. I kind of want to push for that unending uh, dominance, but also grasping the void. Okay, let's let's do this and over this side. One, two, three, four, five will get us close enough. So practical plans is the move of choice. Uh, the move of choice and illuminate the target. We'll get us hitting him. What's, what traps have we got in here? Just damage traps. So yeah, it's just to make you have to go round things. Okay, there is a lava flow elite that has appeared somewhere. Over here. if there's going to be others that appear over time then. Okay, so actually if we push on this side we'll be able to stun him and it'll be just as good except we'll be able to take advantage of um, the illumination. So in, attack. Attack and stun. He was just like healing up, so that's not a problem at all. I think we move in. Get curse on. Maximum movement. Buff herself. Get a wound on him as well. And a stun for next turn as that's amazing. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's go. Defensive stance tactical order. We'll hit first and then we'll move. That'll put us along the back row pretty much. Over here, this needs to be a short rest. I think at this point we'll pull the cards back. So we're going to go unending dominance but also get another curse out and if we go super slow we could stun him for another turn one two three four if you could move four that would be amazing you can't one, two three but what we can do is we can fatal fury for you to attack move one and attack and Unstoppable destruction, then next turn you bounce back to move and grab this. He's stunned, so really he's not much of a, a threat. Sorry, did I say he's stunned? I meant to say he's dead, so he's not much of a threat. What are you doing? You're moving and attacking at range, poison, wound, but you're miles away. Well, actually... We could just... Move.
Uh, right, recover burned cards. So we'll get Living Night, we'll get Wild Animation, we'll get Unwavering Hand, and I think using Manifestation. And this is unfortunately not that useful to us because there's no one in range. Okay, one, two, three. I just strength will do. And Dazzling Charge will get a bit of healing. Bounce back gets you onto there. And break the chains because it needs to be used. Although it is move three actually. We could use break the chains with the fire actually to move five. One, two, three. Yeah, let's do that. And cauterize. And then with our three move, we could move over over the trap and ignore some of the damage maybe. I don't know. We'll we'll see how it feels. Uh, we want to get our thorn shooter back out. We also want to loot the chest, but the chests are miles away, like literally miles away. So I think we may start our return journey. So if we were going to do something worthwhile, it might end up being divided mind as well. No. Let's say, let's assume he's not going to be close enough, so we'll go World Animation and Living Night. Summoning a Flame Demon. Not ideal, but it is what it is. Uh, actually, before we do that, let's... Uh, get Dazzling Charge on. So that is one of the chests done. We'll grab this chest. Those don't count as obstacles, so we can't destroy them. Otherwise, that'd be really handy. If you're just going to summon a flame demon, we can get the thorn shooter here. And we can grab a little bit of gold. gonna have to just run it. I can't see a nice way of it not not happening. And over here, what are we gonna do to try and mitigate the trouble? An extra rule momentum. It's got piercing. Piercing of three. So, Unwavering Hand, Inexorable Momentum. It's going to hurt, but we'll heal a little bit of it up. This is just going to hurt. There's going to be no benefit to it whatsoever. Uh. 
hurts a little, we're going to get a wound from that. Oh, you son of a... My poor thorn shooter. Kill it. And a bit of healing for ourselves. I mean, this is this is starting to get sketchy down here, so obviously not amazing. So we've now got a Savas Lava Float Elite and a Savas Ice Storm to deal with. Short rest. Sure, we'll lose defensive stance. We need to run. So it's going to be tactical order and hammer blow. It's going to be a short rest. And we're going to bounce back to move one, two, three, and then we're going to be ordered to charge further forwards. And for the second thing, we'll lose spiked armor, I think. We'll have to do what we can down here. We could, like, try and push for the exit, but it's going to be really, really hard. Summoning another flame demon. Are oh, you... You pain in the proverbial. Okay, so we're going to move to here. Get a bit of healing on ourselves. And we're going to tell you to go charging on through. So we can get a slime spirit out, which is it's really not a bad plan. It doesn't have a range. But it is another target. And I kind of want to step here so I'm out the way of the Ice Storm. What's he going to do? He's going to attack four at range five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, if we go there, we're going to get shot. So let's come to here just so we're slightly around the corner. Okay, we want to move as far as we can. So break the chains will do really nicely for that and cauterize. Practical plans will get us moving really far and mm, righteous strength because we haven't really got anything else that we can do. And over here, we're going to long rest and try and take care of that poison, but it's it's going to be dangerous. Dangerous and painful. The Ice Storm is just going to shield up and heal. Flame Demon is going to do flamey things. And that is a big shield. Bless the slime. Use all of the flame from them. So 
what are you gonna do? You yeah, you're gonna attack like that. You're gonna poison wound and damage things nearby. It's just basically nasty, nasty. Come on this side. We're gonna suffer a little bit of retaliation, but Oh, getting Getting that was was really unlucky. Minus one. Time zero. And is it healing itself up? It is, look at it. Look at my little little thing go. Right, long rest. We're going to lose Living Knight, I think. Should have used my uh, Summoner's Garb. Well, we can push through now, actually. Unwavering Hand, inexorable momentum. Uh, we're going to go for Fatal Fury and Unbridled Power. Try and just step through and stun him. Don't know how practical that's going to be. And... We can go for Dazzling Charge to get some healing off. And I think we're just going to need to Purifying Aura to step closer. We don't have anything that's... Well, maybe Dazzling Charge and Illuminate the target. It's moving slowly, though. One, two, three. Sorry, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. It's a bit sketchy. But having a target do... Uh, sorry, an ally do attack six could be really handy. Let's see what happens. So the Lava Flow Elite is going to do some healing. Oh, we can't actually... Well, we can get to here and then move the slime through. That's pretty good, actually. So you're going to heal up everyone, and the Savas Ice Storm is going to disarm. So if you come around to here, you'll be in the way, but not too bad. And we can keep him alive, actually. Oh, I should have healed myself and then used the robes of summoning. I'm an idiot. It's fine. So he's healed himself up. So skip tap, step in, have an attack. Wow. That was unfortunate. Get a stun on him at least. Stun and a disarm. A little bit over the top, but fine. And if we step in, just... Oh, no, we've got to be close by for that to happen. Fine. If we step in like this, we'll get a strength on everyone. It's... It's really not needed, but... Make sure he's stunned. Get a big hit. Burning cards for the sake of burning cards. Right. Do what you can there. Because I think we're going to need those cards back. 
we're going to have any hope of getting out. And I think we're going to do a short rest over here. And we're going to start moving on to three with bounce back. And I'm worried on power to stun this one over here. Hopefully before he moves. Heal the poison and the wound. Get stun off. Yeah, that's not going to do anything because there's no, no things in the way. Oh, it has to be adjacent allies. Of course it does. Well, maybe we're going to have to step back then. Just one space. Pretty good hit. Uh, we need to be making our way towards the exit, though. Use the robes of summoning. Okay, short rest. We can move three to there, and then the next turn we move there, and then the next turn we move three and we're out. So we can in theory do it. We can in theory do it. Uh, cauterize. Spiked armor and cauterize. We can step to there and get an attack. Tactical order will get you moving further. That's a really good idea. And then we're going to want to move ourselves. So let's go with practical plans. One, two, three, four, five. It might be too much. It's fine. All enemies suffer two damage. What? That's just mean. It's not like all adjacent enemies suffer two damage. It's just all enemies. Ah, oh, typical the time zero. Wow. Okay, tactical move, go. And then I myself, I'm gonna go... Can I go there and then across? Yeah, let's do that. Like that. That's not quite in range. That's not a bad plan. But just moving closer to the exit is probably the more sensible choice. So let's get a heal on you, because you're pulling up the rear. And we'll back off. Uh, yeah, we're just going to take that damage. Ah. 
So, youch. Hammer blow will get us moving four. One, two, three, four. That's pretty good. We can also go and power and command on that. Uh, you're going to break the chains, try and move as far away as possible. There's going to be a short rest. Inexorable momentum and unwavering hand. He's really, really trying with all the damage, isn't he? Okay, get to the exit. That's one. You can recover cards. Bounce back and spiked armor because they'll let you move quickly. And then we are going. A little bit of healing, get rid of the poison and the wound. Before we go, stab you in the face, get the healing. That gets rid of the poison in the wound and run this way. So that only leaves the Sabbath Ice Storm. Uh, and he's going to be pushing. Hypothet well, actually, he's not, but we can still work with this. Right, your strength, illuminate the target, you need to move two spaces. You need to move four spaces, but bounce back will be good enough for now. And I think we want a long rest over here. It's going to summon a frost demon, it's going to be too little, too late. Look at that. Totally, totally planned. <laughs> and there is the long rest to finish things out. Uh, we'll lose Unwavering Hand. You round the corner just as a ball of fire flies in your direction. It explodes on the far wall and collapses the tunnel behind you. Yeah, the Savas aren't too happy about that. You break into a full sprint and within minutes emerge from the mountain and continue speeding into the surrounding foothills. So, we got professional. That's good. Uh, we got layabout. That's two perk points. That's pretty incredible. We did not get plunderer, but I think it was the smart move to turn around when we did. We didn't get much gold from that either. With a safe distance between you and your pursuers, you finally collapse to the ground and rest. After a while, it becomes clear that no Savas are chasing you, so you get up and continue your quest with the treasure in hand. <laughs> so, 12 XP. A little bit more progress on Blaze's quest. And we have an available perk to put in down here. Mm. Do we start pushing for overkill or I think more stun actually? Stun and disarm are 
two of the most useful abilities in there. And recover's great, but we've got a big hit point pool. Well, let's go for that. Right, uh, we were going to make this have bless on it. Strengthen and bless affect all adjacent allies, potentially within a range of two. Very, very powerful purifying aura now. Crosswalker. Wild animation, we were going to improve the range. Just to keep it a little bit safer. Obviously, there's still a lot more we can do. Another 70 will give it some more hit point, or another 100 will improve its attack. I don't know which is probably going to be better, but we're going to keep pushing down that avenue. Either way, uh, I think we're, we're making good progress. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Gloomhaven. See you soon.